morning. It's been a while since I've talked to you, and I'm doing good. I'm down to 22 cigarettes a week from the 25, so I'm keeping up with my program. I haven't smoked more. Actually, my average has been about 18, 19, so I'm doing good. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I'd do. I hope you are too. Um, it's an awful day out, which makes it a lot easier for me not to sit out and smoke. I have to huddle in the garage and, and take a quick cigarette because I don't smoke in the house. Uh, but I'm doing a lot better. There's a lot of stress going on in my life, and I found that is my number one trigger. So if you're trying to quit, what's your trigger? And everybody's got something. And since I'm taking notes all the time, I've really found out what mine is. Of course, the normal coffee, wine, and all that. But aside from that stress, my number one trigger. Uh, some people it's booze, some people it's drugs, some people it's sleep. But mine's definitely smoking. And as I look out there, I'm getting ready for work and... I hope your day is great, and I'll catch up soon with you. I just wanted to stay in touch. I'm also reading some good books on the subject of, you know, not smoking, stress, how to deal with it. Um, I know exercise and all that. When I lived out west, it was a lot easier because the weather was so much nicer. I, I had lived in Redondo for a while, so I was right on the beach, and I was able to to walk and do yoga and, and everything all year long. When I was in Vegas, my complex had a gym right in there, no charge, swimming pools, jacuzzis, so that made it very easy for me as well. Here, it's nasty a lot. And I also found that was my trigger for eating because I basically hibernated. But anyway, smoking still going good. Happy Tuesday, have a wonderful day, and can't wait to tell you when I'm getting down even more. Take care. Bye-bye.